Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. This is week 4 assignment of the course Artificial Intelligence Concepts and Techniques. Guys, for past 3 assignments, we are providing the solution videos for the cor this course. So let's move into this 4th week assignment as well. Guys, please watch the video till the end. Don't skip the video guys. For the past 5 to 6 years, we have been providing solutions for various NPTEL courses. So please, if you are new to our channel, definitely subscribe our channel, definitely like the video guys, it is very important step and definitely share this video with your friends and classmates. First one, which form is called as a conjunction of disjunction of literals, conjunction of disjunction of literals. So the probable solution for first question is, first option, conjunctive normal form, that is CNF. So first option is the probable solution. Guys, these are completely our probable solutions. If there are any changes that come to our notice and if we notice it on ourselves, definitely we will update that in the comment section. You can also suggest your solutions, guys. So these are completely our probable solutions. Once again, I am telling, right? Next, second question. The mathematical notation to describe logical entailment of a sentence alpha entails another sentence beta is. So what is that representation? That is alpha entails beta so alpha sen sentence alpha entails entails sentence beta so what is that representation so the representation is this one guys alpha entails of beta so second option is the probable solution guys next moving on to the third question which of the following option is used to build complex sentences in knowledge representation? So for third question, also it is second option that is connectives here, connectives. Next question. So X loves Y. Express the statement joy is loved by everyone. So for fourth question, also it is second option guys. next question so for next question the fifth one the probable solution is third option next moving on to the sixth question now sixth question a and a b and c are true false and true respectively what is which of the following is true so for sixth question second option is the probable one B, uh, B implies A intersection C, right? Next, moving on to the seventh question. So, for sec seventh question, second option is the probable one. For all real numbers x, there exists a real number y such that x is greater than y. Next, eighth question. Negation of the proposition is so for eighth question, fourth option is the probable solution, guys. Next, moving on to the ninth one, what is the key idea behind resolution? So, for ninth question, first option it is a refutation complete inference procedure, and moving on to the last question of the assignment, tenth one. What does the empty clause signif signify in resolution? So for last question, second option, the false statement or contradiction. So friends, these are the most probable solutions for week 4 assignment of the course AI. Hope this video helpful for you. Definitely subscribe our channel, like the video and please share this with your friends and classmates. So until the next video, goodbye. Thank you.